Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Emmanuel Arts. This is your crafty host Priyanka. Today I'm here bringing you two amazing and quick, easy Valentine's Day DIY gift ideas. They are both, they can be made both under dollar five each. So it's really easy, it's really quick and it's DIY handmade. So it's always going to be special for your loved one. All the materials that you will require will be in the description below. So now let's jump right into the tutorial. For the first quick and easy DIY Valentine's Day gift, take a vase. Uh, I've bought this glass vase from 99 cents. You can also get it at Dollar Tree. So, and I have these um, stickers. They are already pre-formed stickers. And all you need to do is uh, take a piece out. They are all attached to each other. So take the whole piece out and you can just place them onto the vase. So I'm going to place it here. And then take a couple of big gems and place them randomly. So I've taken a couple of big hearts, big and small hearts, and then place them randomly on top of the actual applique. And then I'm going to decorate all four sides and then I'll come back. These bling applique stickers were by Jolie's Boutique. I found them at Walmart. Um, I went ahead and applied all of the sticker sheet on all four sides of the vase. But I still feel that there is a lot of empty space. So I have this rhinestone sheet from Dollar Tree. It has approximately 500 rhinestones. And I'm just going to use this one line. And then cut off each individual rhinestones from it. And then apply randomly all over. Once I'm done applying all over with these rhinestones, I'll come back and show you the finished part. So I've gone ahead and applied all the rhinestones randomly all around and my vase is complete. So this is how it looks like. On all four sides. So now let's move on to our second project for the day. To begin with the tutorial for the second gift idea, I cut out a template of heart from a piece of cardboard and then cut two hearts from the pink felt. This is the back side of the heart and the, on the front I wrote XOXO from fabric markers and then sewed on sequins all around to just give it a little bit of edge and embellished, embellished it. The next step is to take the glue gun and then attach both the hearts together. So just play, uh, press the glue gun on the edge and then do smaller parts not uh, all together so that the glue doesn't get cold and then it's it doesn't stick to the other heart. So just and then press it down. Then keep on applying the glue all over till you leave a small space on one side. So I will complete this part and come back. I've gone ahead and applied the glue on almost all, all the sides, just leaving a little bit of space here to add some polyfill inside. So I'm going to take some polyfill. So I'm going to take some polyfill and add it inside. We are not going to add too much because we are not making a stuffed toy, but we'll add enough to make it a little bit of uh, we'll add enough so that it is a little bit fluffy and squishy just taking a little bit not too much and 
making sure that it goes in all corners of the heart so that it gives it a good shape. I think three little balls of stuffing is enough and then you can always press and move around the stuffing inside the heart itself. So now I'm going to close this up with more glue gun. So just apply the glue and then press it down. And then press the stuffing inside to make sure that all the, the stuffing is even all over. And if by any chance any glue comes out uh, from the uh, comes out of the edging, you can always trim it off with scissors. Okay, so this is the first stuffing of the heart. After the heart is complete, the next tip is to take a screwer and some green floral tape. Add some adhesive tape runner at the end of the floral tape. And then start placing the tape onto the screwer. Make sure you are adding it in a diagonal position so that it applies properly. And always pull the tape so so it stretches out and it's even all over. To apply this tape, always make sure you're twisting the screwer and not the tape. So I'm going to leave this much space empty. And then with a scissor, I'm going to snip the floral tape off and apply adhesive tape runner at the end. I'm going to, I snipped off the floral tape and I'm going to apply the adhesive tape runner at the end of the tape. And then secure it onto the screw. So I'm leaving, I left about an inch of the screwer without the tape. Next, we are going to take our heart and then poke, poke on the back with the screwer and push it, push the screwer inside. Okay, so I have pushed the screwer inside till where it was not covered in the floral tape. Then taking the glue gun, I'm going to apply some glue underneath here and, and then stick the screwer onto the heart so that it doesn't come out, come out from the, the hole where we poked it inside. And our heart, heart flower is ready. I have made two sizes. On the smaller one, I have uh, added googly eyes and some blush on the cheeks and uh, a lips with felt. Uh, so this is what I made the smaller size and the larger size. Now I'm going to attach them both together with some floral tape. I've already cut out a length of floral tape and I'm going to attach both of them together. So I'm adding a little bit of glue with the glue gun on one end. And then I'm going to place it on, on the two stems and then keep rolling it. And as I mentioned earlier, you twist the flowers and not the tape. Make sure you're stretching the tape so that it applies evenly all over and there are no bumps and lumps.
Now I'm going to go back all over. to the starting point. Once I went all the way down and back up rolling the tape over, I'm going to, I snipped off the edge and then I'm going to take the glue gun and apply a dot of glue at the end of the tape. Stick the edging. And, and now I've attached both of the hearts together. So I have gone ahead and made two more pairs of hearts, uh, the small and the big one and attach them similarly like the one I showed you. Now I'm going to make a bouquet of this uh, all three together off camera and then show you the final product. So finally my bouquet of hearts is complete. I went ahead and added some wire uh, around the end so that I can attach all six of them together and then added some ribbons uh, onto each, um, each stem. To give it a little bit of jazz so that completes our second tutorial for the day we have completed both our diy gift ideas the first one was this was that we made and the second one was this cute heart bouquet now you can give this gift separately or you can just add this, bu this bouquet into the vase and give a gift to your loved one. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up. Also share this video with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel for more fun and crafty DIY videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.